need to really even do this? I don't know that. No. No? <laughs> uh, I don't know what he was going to do, but. Uh, the, well, you know, we play the music, then we got to sing, but Robbie's not here, so. Well, I don't sing, so you could skip that. I don't mind the music, though. Yeah, see, I, I don't know. What do you do there, Randall? This is Clutter Clarity. Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Randall, there you go. Uh, okay, but Clutter Clarity is powered by Mr. Floor. Mr. Floor cleaning products are all non-toxic and environmentally safe, and you can learn more at mrfloor.com. Take it away, Rich. Aren't you going to do the, aren't you feeling like all messed up and you oh, got to clean up? Clearly. Clearly. But that's okay. You can do it. Okay. So this Clutter Clarity tip comes to you from Clutter Clarity, LLC. Oh, um, According to Shopaholic, Shopaholics Anonymous, there are six types of shopaholics. Did you ever think about that? People that go shopping all the time? Oh, so no. So you can be compulsive. Yes. Number one, compulsive. You shop when feeling emotional distress. Thus, you end up with more stuff in your house, right? More junk. More junk. Compulsive. Number two, trophy shopper. Always looking for the best perfect <laughs> item. <laughs> Yeah. So you could go out to the stores for days and days and only uh, buy one item. Mackenzie right. Scott has a clutter clarity thing as well. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Then I'll do this quicker. Sure. Image. You shop to be seen as a big spender, often for flashy items. So do you just keep putting up pictures of your recent purchase? Uh-huh. Bargain shopper. Shop for items they don't need because they're on sale. That is my mother. Uh-huh. And mothers like that <laughs> crack me up. Look at these. I got two for the price of one. I go, but we don't use those. So that's like buying <laughs> buying one is too many. Sure. Silliness. Goes on sale. Uh-huh. This is a good one. Bulimic. What? Shopping in vicious cycle of buying and then returning. Oh. How many people actually do that? I'm sure there's people that do that. Yeah. Well, they I buy... don't know if you call that buyer's remorse or if you just yeah, they... like the hunt and then they yeah. throw it back. Exactly. They they use the tool and then they put it back in the box and let somebody else deal with it. You right. know, they, they use it for the job. They need it and then send it back. And then the final one is collectors. They shop until they own every available option of a set. Uh -huh. And then that's different. That's if you're into a collection, you know what I mean? But it can still get out of hand. People that collect clowns or owls or <laughs> or whatever. Right. Your whole house, every square inch is covered in angels. Uh huh. Yeah. That's crazy. Of course, all the ro sh stop shops on the side of the road aren't helping because every day they have state spoons, right? So what sure. do you got to do? You got to go to every state so you have all the spoons. Yeah, or the magnets on the refrigerator, right? You got to get all the yes. state magnets too. Well, you know, that's the funny thing. When I was younger and we were in sports, I always tried to be the best at everything. And sure. then I found out you could buy trophies. Now I'm good at everything. <laughs> you buy trophies. It's much easier than playing the game. Yeah. Is is Trixie got her own show going back there? What's going on? Doesn't she always? Yeah. Just who who do we have on the line? We have Mackenzie on the line. Mackenzie. Hi, Mackenzie. Hey, Mackenzie. You've got a clutter hello, clarity hello. tip. You've got a clutter Good clarity morning. tip. Good morning. Uh, oh yeah. I mean, you guys usually talk with my boss Shay Lewis. So oh. I come help out. Excellent. Oh, oh that's awesome. cool. Yeah. I, I should have known that sooner. I wouldn't have been talking so long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I'd come rescue you guys. She told me to call at nine, but I was like, they sound like they need an organizer. <laughs> right. I yeah, I told her eight forty five last night, but I don't think she realized. So Oh. Uh, oh. So, so we've well, got we got a I'm couple minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's uh mission to organize and Shay normally fills in when we can, uh, for Robbie, but uh go ahead. It so we have been enjoying, I don't know if you guys have gotten any of the buzz about all of the Marie Kondo stuff happening with the new Netflix show, but everyone is in an organizing tizzy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Everyone is in a tizzy, but we've been having, we've been having a lot of fun helping people really set up some systems that are actually going to be really practical. A lot of her method is, it's kind of fun to listen to because she's very, um, has a very emotional approach to everything. So, you know. You, you feel every item that's clothing and think about if it brings you joy and, you know, oh. she has to, but, you know, there's a lot of, <laughs> so there's a lot of hoopla around that, but uh -huh. it's been really cool to help people marry those ideas and really come up with some <laughs> practical solutions. But, uh, Robbie just says, toss it, get rid of it. She, you know, it doesn't care that <laughs> your great grandmother gave it to you. Get rid of it. We don't need that. 
Are you? Well, using... she's a little cold like that. Yeah, she's way cold like that. <laughs> Well, you know, you have to be, it kind of depends on the client, right? Like, we have to be very gentle with some clients. And, you know, I honestly don't, I don't want anybody to throw away a family heirloom if they love it and use it and appreciate it and it brings some happy memories. Oh, sure. Now you got me throwing you know, stuff away, too. But, <laughs> but, but, you know, there, but there are some times where people hold on to, like, just gifts in general, you know, like, people hold on to things. They're like, well... My great aunt Alice gave that to me, and I don't know if she's going to be upset if I give it away. And I'm like, well, your great aunt Alice wanted you to be happy when she gave it to you. I don't think she really was trying to cause you, like, internal struggle. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, there's a balance. There's a balance. Yeah. So the, the mental anguish of trying to get rid of something, you know, I guess that's the, that's the question. Can you do it, you know? Right. Exactly. I mean, and there's so many tips that we give our clients about that help them make decisions, you know, like, you know, and it's everything from do you have too many ladles in your kitchen, and you should probably take note of that, uh-huh. <laughs> to, to, to the family heirloom, heirlooms and everything in between. So it, decluttering is, you know, it's only part of the organizing process, and it's definitely something that's important, but not everything. How many wooden spoons do you, you need? You need a system. Uh, how many wooden how spoons? How many wooden spoons? Yeah. Three. I would say... Tell me why, Rich. Or is that is that Rich? Yeah, that was that? Rich. Because yeah. you why. don't ever want to use a spoon, a wooden spoon, into two things unless they've been cleaned and dried. There, exactly, exactly. So I would say, I would say you need you need a wooden spoon for all of those pans that you have right. that you should not be using a metal spoon on. Okay. So maybe you need one longer one for a big pot that you have, and maybe you need a shorter one for a smaller soft pan. Um, and then if the third one is in, in, you know, engraved with your grandfather's initials on it and you like it, then <laughs> sure, there's garbage. your three. <laughs> yeah, because he made them but in his woodshop. There's a reason shop. for each one. Yeah, because right. he, was, he right. made them in his woodshop right. for everybody, right? There you go. <laughs> right. There was a reason for each one. And if there's a fourth and you can't tell me why you need it and it's taking up space in your drawer and it's ruining 60. your functionality, then you probably get rid of it. See, there, and there, there comes Robbie. Toss it. Get rid of it. <laughs> You don't need well, that. Yeah, at that point, at that point, yeah. And, you know, some clients need to need, tell, when we come in, they say, okay, I need you to be a little tough with me. So then those people, I will I will yell at them to it because they told me to. <laughs> they told me to be tough. There you go. They told me to be tough. Okay, so uh, Shay is out of out of the country right now, isn't she? She is out of the country. And she, she, left, you, the country. she left you in charge. So it is... Uh, go ahead and give us, your, give us your information. We're heading a break here. Yes, so you can find us, Mission 2 Organized with the number 2 on Facebook. Our YouTube channel has a whole bunch of awesome how-to videos. And if you need our help, you can find us on Mission2Organized.com. And we'll be there for your moves, your home organizing, anything you need. Excellent. Thank you. That. We'll be back. Thanks, guys.